Peace and blessings, peace and blessings. It's your boy Big C coming at you live. What's up, YouTube? Oh, yeah, man, I'm handling my business, um, you know, out here in the morning, getting getting busy. I had to go this morning to get all this stuff. One of my clients, he moving, been in the um, rest home, convalescent home for, for a while. Now he's getting his own apartment. In his own apartment. It's a nice one too. So I had to get 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 prepared, come out here and help him. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, yeah, I was just looking at a video about um, Snoop and Gail King and, and Jada Pickett. He sat down with Jada and Willow, and he was talking about um the incident about apologizing to um, for what he said to Gail King. I think it was honorable for him to apologize because, you know, publicly, we shouldn't be uh, disrespecting our women like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, sometimes in the heat of the moment, yeah, that chick come out, she might call you a motherfucker, she might call you a bitch. You know what I'm saying? That shit happens. But we shouldn't, um, we shouldn't it shouldn't happen, you know, we should uh, know how to deal with our anger a little bit more, and you know, but we come from a compulsive culture, you know, we just, hey, goddamn been snap, <laughs> we gotta cut that shit out, man, Snoop probably would've slapped her if he was in front of her, <laughs> but yeah, you know, we can't do that shit, man, you gotta apologize. You know, especially don't want to, you know, the white people start chiming in. They want to, they want to destroy you anyway. And so it was. I think it was cool that they just, you know, he said what he said. He was right, but he said it the wrong way. That's how I feel. You know, he was right. And then you know, it was kind of immature of us to just jump off the bat like that. We got to stop operating off our emotions. You know. You know, um, like Monique, uh, Tyler Perry told Monique, um, you right, when she had, when Monique had her situation with uh, Oprah Winfrey. Monique was right, but she went about it the wrong way. But they was operating off their emotions. So we gotta, we gotta get our emotions out of it. Uh, get some emotional intelligence, man. And um, know where you're at. And, and, and think about things a little bit more deeply. Because you look at um, these white folks, look at Donald Trump. Look at Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump and, them, and, and, and these politicians, they um, they operate, they, they operate, they push the operation, man. They push the operation, you know, and you don't know us. Every time we throw some, they throw some at Donald Trump, impeachment, the Mueller thing. They strategically moving past that. They doing whatever they got to do. They might be doing some scandalous stuff, but they doing whatever they got to do to push their agenda. They stand on code. They stand orchestr in an orchestrated team. And they, they handle their business. And then the shit get, you know, he, he been beating at everybody. You know? And you know some all emotional up there. Sometimes they get they wrinkle his feathers. You know, you can see a little bit of it, but you know. We, we gotta we can't be we can't be doing act even me cussing all the time, you know what I'm saying? No, but shit, he said what he said, man. You know, I can't tell that man what to say. You know, see, I felt the same way. I called her a bitch in my head, too. You know? And who are who are we to judge? And they're like, we perfect. You know? So, yeah, that's this early morning check-in. Snoop. I'm, on, I'm team Snoop, man. Fuck that bitch. No, <laughs> I'm <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>